Hello to my internet friends. It's your pal Milo and today we're checking out Summer in Mara. I've been really excited for this game ever since they first posted it on Steam. It's got a really cool summery vibe and I love the art style and I've been interested in finding a kind of life sim style game to play. So I'm really intrigued by what this game's all about. Ooh, nice little painted cutscene. Ooh, an explosion, yikes. There's fire everywhere. Uh-oh. That looks pretty bad. Okay, I think this is us. I think this is our playable character here. Who's just been saved by some sort of squid person. Ooh, I love the aesthetic of this game. Just look at it. It's amazing. It's already, like, so... It's evocative of, like, kind of the classic PS1, PS2 era. But, it, but it's also, like, super HD, kind of. I just think it's great. And I, running around is already, it's, it's very nostalgic, but it, it's, it's not, um, sometimes when things are nostalgic, it's like cumbersome. This is not at all. It's great. Koa, were you on the roof again? No, Yaya. I just saw you coming down. Isn't there work to do? On the island, there's always work to do. We need oranges to make juice for breakfast. I'm too old to get them by myself. Oranges for the lady coming right up. Collect three oranges to make juice for breakfast. Okay, where are oranges? Ooh, I can run really fast. Oh, big jump, big jump. I like it. Okay, there's there's an orange right there. We're kicking the tree. I like that little kick. And I can feed him a carrot, but I don't have one, so I'm not going to. And I'm just scooting right along. Look at me, zooming. Is this, is this kid a zoomer? I don't know what zoomers are. I, I'm showing how out of touch I am. I don't know what a zoomer is. Is this kid a zoomer? Okay, we got our three oranges. Let's head back. Man, I love the soundtrack. I love the aesthetic. I'm, I'm so in love with this game already. <laughs> Here you have the most beautiful oranges on the island. Thank you very much. Mmm, this juice is delicious. Now I feel energized. I'm glad to hear that. Remember this, Koa. You can win anyone's heart with food. Now we have to prepare a new crop field. Okay, I'll watch you do it from here. Oh, no, no, no. You're clearly quite the young adult. You can do it yourself. Pick up a hoe and prepare the field. You'll be able to plant these carrot seeds afterward. To finish, get water from the well and pour it over them. Will I have to shower after? You will if you get muddy. Yeah, yeah, I'm always muddy. <laughs> Orange juice. Hoe? Okay, uh, I think do I need do I need to make a hoe? Select hoe to interact with the soil. Here we go. Cool, nice. Tilling the land, living off the fat of the land, folks. I love it. <laughs> Whoa! I'm just <laughs> dropping water everywhere. The field looks so good after sowing. <laughs> Everything's ready, ma'am. Right now we need to collect some firewood, but I lost my old axe. I'll have to make a new one. Can I do it? Sure, why not? All you need is a stone and a bit of wood. Great, I'll have my very own axe. We'll see. Here, take the materials, go inside the house, and build it at the workshop. We'll meet afterwards beside the old tree. Okay, so now we're making an axe. I like this game a lot already. It's very simple. Uh, I, I get overwhelmed by life sims a lot because they kind of leave you to your own devices. I like having a giant squid person telling me what to do. So we're going to go ahead and make the axe, as requested. I have to be careful with this axe. It's very sharp. Ooh. Okay, run into the old tree. I see the squid person off in the distance. Let's get over there as fast as we can. Yaya, yeah, yeah, look at this axe. Good. Now we have to cut down this tree. Oh, I feel sorry for it. I love Koa. I love his expressions and stuff. The art style of these kind of dialogue sequences is very, very great. I feel sorry for it too, but what we take from nature must be given back. We live in Mara. Life flows through this big ocean surrounding us. If we take advantage of nature, it's our duty to compensate for the things we took. We're part of this cycle. Koa, none of the things you see are yours. Mara lent them to us. I like it. Should I cut down the tree now? <laughs> this kid is so dismissive. Doesn't care whatsoever what she has to say. What do we say? Thank you, tree. Take a seed. When you're finished cutting down the tree, go plant the seed somewhere on the island. That's an equal exchange. Okay. How do I cut down the tree? Here we go. Ooh, chopping. 
<laughs> it just disappeared. I like that. Now we need to plant the trees somewhere else. Oh, we can cut this down too. Might as well, right? Let's just start wreaking havoc on this island already. If you watch the Porsche video, you know kind of my MO when I play games like this. Let's go ahead and plant this pine nut. Yeah, we did it. Great. Do I have to water that or is it going to water itself? Ah, whatever. Who cares? The tree is now planted. I hope it grows very tall. If you take good care of it, I'm sure it'll become gigantic. I'll water it every day, Yaya. All right, Koa. Do you want to learn a new recipe? We'll make orange jam. It's a very easy recipe. Go to the kitchen at home and prepare some. I don't know if I've ever heard of orange jam. I know there's like preserves and things like that, but do they make orange into a jam? I'd like to try that. I love strawberry jam and strawberry jelly. They rule. Also, what's the difference between jelly and jam? <laughs> I, I, I know <laughs> that is such a stupid question for an adult to ask, but I, I'm not sure I, I've ever definitively figured it out. Okay, we need more oranges to make our orange jam, so I gotta go find some. Oh, there's an orange. There's a bunch of oranges. Give me that. Now. I want it now. This kid jumps like three times their height. Look at this. Look at this. That's insane. I love it. This is such a relaxed, laid back game, and I feel like I'm playing it on cocaine. I don't know why I'm so amped up right now. I really have been having a kind of a blah day, and then I feel like as soon as I start recording these videos, I turn into a different person, and it's very actually nice. But... I don't know, it might be very off-putting for some people that I'm just kind of, uh, always at a 95 out of 100. Usually when I watch videos on YouTube, I'm like trying to relax, and then when I make videos for YouTube, I'm just screaming. This jam is delicious! I'm gonna bring Yaya some! I like that, uh, Koa is missing some teeth. That's a, that's a nice little touch. Character artwork got some missing teeth. Very, definitely evokes childhood for some reason. Yaya, yeah, try the jam. Oh, are we gonna have to fish for dinner? It depends on whether or not they take the bait. We'll see. What about cooking yummy fish? Listen to the recipe, Koa. You'll need a fresh red tail catfish, then you chop some carrots. Hmm, why do pirates never come here? And then we add, hey Yaya, yeah, why do pirates never come here? <laughs> this kid doesn't pay attention whatsoever. Yaya is just going on and on trying to teach me life lessons and I'm not paying attention to a lick of it. What? Were you paying attention to me? I can see them from the mountain. They're always far away and never come here. Maybe because there's nothing they're interested in. It is a tiny island. I love Yaya's scarf. Look at that. I'd like to wear a t-shirt made out of that. But we have the door and the fountain, Neo, and now... The island is very beautiful. That's true, but we're taking care of it for others. We take care of the island because it's important to maintain it. Although I sometimes leave, I always come back. Because of you in our house. And even when I'm gone, I never stop thinking about the island. Oh, I'm getting kind of a premonition that something bad might happen to Yaya. I hope not. I like Yaya a lot, so I hope they don't die or something. Because it's, it's looking like maybe it's leaning that way. Our home reflects what we think of ourselves. We have to love ourselves, right? Right. Well, what were we talking about? About dinner. Yes, that, but what was I saying? Well, never mind. It's getting late, Koa. I need fuel for the boat. Fill the tank and bring it to the dock. Of course, Lady Haku. Resin float. Collect fuel from the Guardian's door fountain and bring it to Yaya Haku. Okay. So it's a very cool naming scheme in this game. I'm not sure if they're borrowing from a an existing culture or if they're all made up but it's very cool i want to do more research about this game because i really like it but i really don't have any idea what the development was like or you know if the developers put a lot of i have no idea where the game comes from so i would i would love to do more research because i think it's an incredible game so far i'm sure that if i run really fast i can reach the top in no time oh i'm running really fast through the entire game my friend I could probably jump to the top of this mountain if I really wanted to. The soundtrack in this game is so soothing. I love it. I feel like I'm screaming over it, but I, I love it. What was I supposed to do up here? Is this the wrong mountain? Oh, it's over there. Whoa! 
Thank goodness there's no fall damage, because I just took quite the spill. Old tank. I filled the tank. Great. Let's get back. Ooh, a little cave. Some ore or something. Yaya says there used to be bats in this cave, but there are none left. Well, that's good. I don't like bats. You guys like bats? I think some people find bats cute, right? I find bats terrifying. I mean, I guess they're not as scary to me as snakes or spiders. But I also, I don't know if I've ever seen a bat in real life. You guys ever seen a bat in real life? Yaya's at the boat. Look at this water. Beautiful. This game is, this game reminds me of like a GameCube game. Have a safe journey, Yaya. Remember what I asked you for. What did you ask for? Chocolate! If you want to stay, I can take the boat and buy it. In a few years, maybe you can visit the city with me. The sea's very dangerous. You should never sail alone. And what about you? Actually, it's okay. I let you sail alone. And there goes the boat. Now I'm alone. I guess... Just kind of doing my own thing now. I'm gonna surprise Yaya by preparing dinner. I'll try the yummy fish recipe. Let's see. First, I need to catch a red-tailed catfish at the pond. Yaya took her fishing rod with her. I'm gonna make one for myself at the workshop. I just need some materials. Okay. Gotta go see how I make a fishing rod. I really like that this game is kind of holding your hand in terms of what you need to, to always be doing because I really struggle with that when I play games like this. And it, it's really refreshing to just have a bit of a set objective. I'm going to cut down some trees because I have a feeling I'm going to need some wood. Ooh, there's like some whistling in this soundtrack piece. I really like this. The official soundtrack for this game is amazing. I don't know if maybe I shouldn't be cutting down every tree on my island, but that's just kind of how I roll. I made the fishing rod. <laughs> now I have a fishing rod. Time to go to the pond and fish. What was in that recipe? Fish, some carrots. Mmm, I didn't listen to the rest of it. Well, never mind. It'll work with this. <laughs> Yummy fish, question mark? <laughs> I like that. This is going to be a disaster. Oh, it's like a mini game. Oh, cool. Follow the fish. Oh, this is, this is. Okay, this makes sense. Oh, that's fun. I'm so used to this kind of standardized fishing minigame that this is very different from. And I like this a lot. I think it's a nice twist. I don't know why I'm just obsessively fishing over and over again. I think I already got what I need, but... I, I do get obsessive over fishing in, in video games. I don't know why. I think it's the most boring thing to do in real life, but I'll do, I'll do it for hours in a video game. That's so weird, right? How... So many things are boring in real life, but then you do them in a video game and it has some kind of weird allure and, and chemical hook in your brain that makes you feel like you should just spend an entire evening doing it. Okay, we're making the yummy fish. Let's see how yummy it is. This doesn't look right. I hope it's still edible. Oh no! If it gets too dark, Yaya won't be able to get back. I must light the fire atop the mountain so that I can guide her. I just need a torch. That's easy. Yaya taught me how to make them. I think some wood should be enough. Why don't more games do this? Like, there's a lot of survival games and a lot of kind of crafting and life sim games, but a lot of them don't do this thing where there are story reasons to do everything that I've done so far. I think this is a really good idea. Ooh, this is a quaint little beat. Nice little, uh xylophone or something going it's very soothing i think i can see yaya from here i'm glad she arrived safe and sound i hope she brought my chocolate i just want to say if you guys want a really relaxing game i feel like maybe i'm uh doing this game a disservice <laughs> because i am so loud so it, you know i think you guys should really try this for yourself because it's a whole lot of fun and i i, I think I, i'm it's pretty obvious that i'm really enjoying it and i definitely recommend it to anyone it's about 20, 25 bucks on Steam. Really worth it. Especially if you don't have Animal Crossing or something like that. Yaya, did you bring back chocolate? I forgot. Aw, Yaya. If I knew that, I wouldn't have cooked dinner. Did you cook dinner? Yes, that fish recipe you like so much. It's not very good. I wasn't inspired. <laughs> I wasn't inspired to cook. This nine-year-old wasn't inspired to cook. It's okay. Sorry, Yaya. Don't worry, Koa. This was your first time. It's normal. 
Talent has to be nurtured, practice is what matters, and not being afraid of failing and being wrong. Wow, Yaya just really dispenses with the uh, cones of self-confidence and feeling good about yourself pretty, pretty frequently. I like that. It's good messaging this game has without really trying too hard. It doesn't feel like it's beating you over the head. It feels very organic. Make dinner tomorrow and the day after and every day after that until you get it right. Don't run away from your mistakes. Next time will be better. That's it. Come to the guardian's door. Why? I want to tell you something. But first, take this key and go get the crystal sphere I keep in my chest. Your chest? Yes. You never let me look inside your chest. Today's different. We'll meet at the door. Okay, I got a key. Let's go. Do 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 do. Here's the chest. I like this indicator that shows you kind of what you need to do next. It's not a it's not an arrow that you follow like it is in other games. It's just wherever the thing is, it's there. I like that the game, it leaves you to figure things out for yourself to, to a certain extent. It's not totally just like having you on a leash to do everything, but it gives you enough of an indicator that like you're never going to get lost. I'm going to bring Yaya the chrysalis. A chicken's asleep. I like that. Oh, look at this little guy. This little pig's asleep. All the animals are sleeping. I'm up running around like a maniac. What did you want to tell me, Yaya? Do you remember the story about the guardians? Yes. They protected the sea in the door. And that's it. Whenever there was any danger, they met here and opened the door with the four crystalluses. Will the door open at some point? Only when Mara is truly threatened. It will open when the four crystalluses are placed here, as if they were four keys. I wish I could see what's inside. It's not the time for that. What happened to the guardians? They disappeared little by little. Very few people understood their work. It is sad. In my opinion, this world runs on the cooperation between people. Can you see the spiral on the door? Although they seem to be separated dots, everything is connected by the spiral, the wind of Mara. It is true. Like when you ask me for stuff and I help you. Yes, even though you're always grumbling. Well, I'd rather do nothing. Don't you like lying on the grass? <laughs> I'd rather do nothing. My thoughts exactly, kid. Of course, who doesn't? But being responsible is very important. When one of those dots disappears, everything collapses. Man, I wish I had this game as a kid. I'd probably feel a lot differently about a lot of things than I feel now. <laughs> Koa, you must help others, always. How? By bringing them something they need, or planting a seed. Every action, as small as they may seem, can be beneficial to others. Do we have to help everyone? Even if they're mean? There are mean people that are lost and need help, but there are other people that are truly mean. How will I tell the difference? You'll know by looking them in the eye. Invite them out to eat. You say that a lot, Yaya. Ya. You have to win their hearts with food. That's it, Koa. Don't forget it. Time to go to bed. Already? The day passed by so quickly. Good night, little guardian. Now I'm going back home to go to sleep. Oh, oh yeah. That, that yawn. Oh, this is like a, a Ghibli movie. This is rules. Wow. 10 out of 10, you guys. Incredible. This is very premature, but this might be one of my games of 2020. It's such a unique style. Guys, you owe it to yourself to play this game. This is so cool. I'm blown away by this. Well, everybody, that's going to about wrap it up for this video. I love this game. I think you guys will love it too. Definitely check out Summer in Mara. It's so much fun. It's got such a cool vibe. I'm really excited to play more of it. I don't know if I'm going to do uh, more videos on Summer in Mara because it feels like something that I kind of just want to experience and not, you know, play through the entire thing, narrating out loud everything that I'm doing and, and try and make it entertaining. I really want to experience this game for what it is because it's a whole lot of fun and I and it's very relaxing and I think it's not the kind of game that deserves <laughs> me trying to do my weird anime thing over top of it. So... Really, guys, I genuinely think you should check this game out. It's awesome, and I cannot wait to play more of it. All right, guys, hope you're staying happy. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you're doing the best you can do every single day, and I will see you again very soon.